What's good? It's your boy Fanon. All right, man, I'm going to do this video. It's a couple days late because there are so many videos done on this about the confrontation. The actual recorded confronta uh, confrontation took place between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. I made a video about the picture that I saw, but that was before I actually saw the video. So I'm going to share my thoughts on it. And in doing so, man, I'm going to talk to you Terrence Crawford fans, man. Y'all on my fucking nerves. I'm just going to straight tell you and you cats, these are you guys are cats that come to the channel on a regular basis. I'm talking and here I'm talking to some cats who are subscribers, um, but specifically to a, a couple people. And you should know that because of the response I gave you to my because of my response to your comments on my page. Let me tell you, man, let me start this like I always start this with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. I am an Errol Spence Jr. fan. I'm a Terrence Crawford fan. I like both these dudes. I supported Errol Spence Jr. in his fights. I supported Terrence Crawford in his fights. If you don't believe me, I don't, I, I don't, I don't give a shit. You can believe me or you cannot believe me, whatever. You can always go back in my timeline. I got a thousand videos up and trust me, there's a fair number of them about Terrence Crawford, supporting Terrence Crawford, uh, a bunch of them about Errol Spence Jr. So I like both these guys. And I'm calling it is as I see it, like I call it every other situation in boxing. I call it like I see it. I don't call it down the line. I don't call it. I'm not trying to give one guy benefit of the doubt and the other guy not give the other guy benefit of the doubt. I'm just calling it like I see it. And the uh, way I see this in this Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr. thing is neither one of these guys are putting the art trying to make that fight next. And both fan bases uh, are talking about wanting to make the fight and other people are talking about make, wanting to make the fight. But it doesn't seem as if this fight is going to happen anytime before the end of 2019. Ter Errol Spence Jr. got a fight with Mikey Garcia. Terrence Crawford is fighting over there on ESPN and it is what it is. Period. Now, as far as this confrontation going, the thing that I found funny was when people, I said, people asked me what I thought about it. He's like, nobody backed down. Nobody looked afraid. And I agreed. But what I said was that Terrence Crawford toned down. That's the only thing of notice that I saw happen in that, in that event, including all of the talk, right? Terrence Crawford says something. Errol Spence says something that Terrence Crawford fans want to jump on when he said, yeah, why wouldn't I take the easier route and beat up Sean Porter? To, to assuming that the route means undisputed champion. Uh, Terrence Crawford said, yeah, you're smart, you're smart, but you ain't that smart. So he's implying that he might take that same route too. Then Bob Arum is there and Bob Arum didn't say, let's make the fight. Bob Arum didn't say anything about let's make the fight. Not that I recall. I guess I'll go walk, walk it, watch it again and wait for the point where Bob Arum said something about having called Bob, uh, about Al Heyman. I didn't hear him say that. What I saw was two dudes, uh, one dude say specifically he went to that fight in Oklahoma City because he knew Terrence Crawford was going to be there. Now, the common denominator between the two is clearly Maurice Hooker because Maurice Hooker is from Dallas. And Maurice Hooker, I do believe, was getting trained, uh, was, is an is a ESPN fighter. Yeah, he's an ESPN fighter and top rank. Uh, and he's a top rank fighter and ESPN fighter, and that's the network that Terrence Crawford fights on. So there's some commonality brought him there. But here's my thing. When I said Ter Terrence Crawford toned down, I mean he toned down. It's, it was a lot of, like, when I first started seeing the video, I thought, man, these dudes were literally about to fight. Because Terrence Crawford's eyes were bugged out. He was in, the, he was in Terrence Errol Spence's face. And Errol Spence Jr. Was, staring, was looking at him. He didn't flinch. He was looking at him. Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence didn't do, didn't do anything, didn't say anything out of source except for you crazy. You ain't hurting me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, you ain't knocking me. I am the boogeyman and that type of stuff. The good type, you know, smack talk that people do. And eventually that conversation went off into other areas. Like, I'll bet you a million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars at this and that, where they started, you know, pumping each other, you know, beating each other's chest about who had the most money. Because clearly Errol Spence was irritated that uh, Bo Max said that he was living, chest to check, li living check to check. I also saw Terrence Crawford try to touch Errol Spence in the stomach and say, oh, that's fat. And Errol Spence was like, man, that ain't fat. Right? And then he, they went back and forth on that. 
it went from a situation where Terrence, it looked like Terrence Crawford and them dudes really wanted to fight Errol Spence to some joking back and forth about who made more money and whose coach could beat whose coach and all the, the conversation by Bob Arum. And it just seemed like to be a little, you know, all fun and jokes towards the end of that. They shook hands. They walked apart, walked away. Errol Spence Jr.'s demeanor stayed the same, stayed the same the whole way through. Terrence Crawford went from bug eyed, looking like he wanted to fight to not looking like he was scared, but looking like, all right, man, I'll see you later. If the fight happens, the fight happens. That's what I took from that. But see, on to cats who were Terrence Crawford fans. If I said that to Errol Spence fans, you know, if I was like, if I said something that was untrue, like Terrence Crawford punked Errol Spence, that would be untrue because he didn't. He tried to punk him. He definitely tried to get in his face and tried to get him to blink, tried to get him to do something where he might be able to feel like he intimidated the dude. That's that's what that was. That's what it looked like it was to me. But that's the personality of Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is somebody that seems to, seems to me to be that kind of dude. He's It's regular for you to see Terrence Crawford in a confrontation with somebody that he's going to fight beforehand, just like Jose Benavitez. They were in the conversation. They do that type of stuff. Errol Spence Jr., I haven't seen him do that. I see him wanting to fight Sean Porter, but they're not, they weren't in each other's face like a fight was about to happen. Terrence, Errol Spence, like, I ain't got to be mad at you to beat, Errol Spence Jr. seems to be this mentality. I don't have to be mad at you to beat you up. I don't have to be mad at you to do what I got to do in the ring. I'm not going to try to intimidate you. When you get in the ring, I'm going to try to beat you up. Terrence Crawford seems to be kind of the streetish type of dude where he's like, look, man, I want to beat you. And like, I want to beat you now. Like if there was no cameras around and there was some of that, that dude was, that dude would be throwing hands with somebody. He seems to be that type of aggressive dude. So when I say he looked like he toned it down, I mean, he went from being acting like he wanted to fight to acting like they were just more on an equal playing field. Not that he got punked, not that he was scared, not that he don't think he can win the fight, but just more toned down, less purely aggressive. He was back. He even backed up several feet and was like moving, acting like he was going to stick and move. He walked up to the dude like, oh, don't try to do that body, body, da, 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 da stuff. And Errol Smith Jr. sat there with his hands in his pocket and had his same demeanor the whole way through. That's what I saw. Nothing that would make me believe either one of those dudes is scared of the other. No words in it that made me feel like the fight was any closer to happening than the end of 2019 or whatever. Those two dudes got their own plans and they're, they're on their own track. They clearly know who each other are. And if they had to get in the fight, I got no doubt that Terrence Crawford is going to try to outbox Errol Spence. And eventually, he's, after he tries, he's going to try to figure him out. Then he's going to try to beat him up. Errol Spence Jr. is just going to try to beat him up. Period. And Errol Spence believes he can beat him because he's so much smaller. Terrence Crawford probably thinks he can beat him because he thinks he's a better boxer and he might see something. Like, like Tim Bradley says, man. <laughs> Tim Bradley's a whole nother subject. But this is my thing to y'all. Dude, get up off my back because I'm not going to fucking ride with Terrence Crawford and act as if Terrence Crawford is Errol Spence Jr. scared of him or Errol Spence Jr. is running from him or there's no reason to, for Terrence Crawford to have to ask for the fight just as much as Errol Spence Jr. asked for the fight. Terrence, when Errol Spence Jr. said, I'm the boogeyman, and Terrence Crawford said, well, how are you the boogeyman if I'm chasing you? Man, if I was Errol Spence, I would have turned around and said, man, you ain't chasing me. Well, where's the chase? Matter of fact, I think that's what he said. Call me. You want to call my promoter? Call my promoter. My number is right here. Let me call, check my message. Let me call for Errol Spence, man down promotions. You can call me and try to make the fight. Right? So they went back and forth or whatever, man. But look, it, it doesn't move any of that stuff any further down the street. I don't think any less of Errol Spence Jr. or Terrence Crawford because of the exchange. I don't think any more of Errol Spence Jr. or more or more of Terrence Crawford because of the exchange. But you, Errol, you Terrence Crawford fans, the specific cast, unless you act like Terrence Crawford is going to run through Errol Spence Jr. like it's a joke of a fight and it ain't close, or if I don't say that, then I'm hating on Terrence Crawford, man. Y'all need to kick rocks. And last thing. To the young man that said, ah, you see what you want to see, old man. First of all, 
I ain't no old man. Second of all, you should be lucky. You know, the one thing you know for sure, one way to prove somebody's a moron is if they spit in the wind. Spit in the wind, spitting in, the, spitting in a gust of wind. If you do that, you're a fucking moron. And why would that be? Because that wind is going to blow that spit right back in your face. So you're spitting in your own face, dummy. You're making fun of somebody because they're older than you is like spitting in the wind, dude. Because if you're lucky enough, you might get to be as old as they are. Think about it. Making fun, a teenager making fun of a 30-year-old as being an old man is a moron. Because before you know it, you're going to be 30 years old. And matter of fact, what you really should be a trying, one of the things you should be a try, trying to achieve in your life is to make it to 30 years old. These kids run around, ah, die young, die all that crap. Dog, that ain't the thing. You want to get to be older. Making fun of a 70-year-old man because he made it to 70 years old when you're 30 years old and you, you don't know if you're going to make it out of this week? Dog, not the smartest thing in the world, man. Don't spit in the wind. Don't spit in the wind. Same thing goes with Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford. Dog and out Terrence, dog and out Errol Spence Jr. and half the shit you got, half the things you guys are saying about Errol Spence Jr. is literally spitting in the wind. Because if it was somebody other than Errol Spence Jr., if it was somebody, once somebody, Terrence Crawford is fighting somebody that throws some other group of people, they'll say the same shit about Terrence Crawford. And all of a sudden, you know, everything that they say, you know, something wrong with it. But anyway, it is what it is. Y'all on my nerves, man. And if you want to unsub, sub, unsubscribe because I ain't going to ride, you know, because I'm not just going to, you know, all hail Terrence Crawford, you know, unsubscribe, man. Kick rocks, dude. You can find another channel to listen to and you ain't got to bug me with it. Anyway, with that, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>